Hello, all the people viewing YouTube. I'm sorry, my hair is probably like flaw. But this is Silver Slides Stable, so you could call me Silver. Yeah, because I'm awesome like that. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Briar Stalemate halter for basically any mold that is adjustable. Mold that headstock is. So, with a detachable lead rope. So, yes, just please keep watching. This is what you will need your Briar Stablemate model. Paper clips, a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks, ribbon, one eighth, and I prefer the silky kind because that's just kind of what makes it adjustable. You're also going to need pliers and scissors. So yeah, that's all you're going to need. First thing is foot. First, cut about a foot of your ribbon. Any color you want, it just has to be one eighth and silky. Take your ribbon, measure around his muzzle, well his or her muzzle, and hot glue and then trim. This creates your muzzle piece. Now, I know there is no rings on here to hook up a lead rope to, but trust me, that's like the last thing that happens. Now, hot glue the remainder of that foot long piece of ribbon that you cut to one side of your muzzle band. This will create the stock of the part that goes across their face and over their head. Now thread it through your muzzle piece, the rest of the ribbon, just thread it through there. Now don't cut it or hot glue it yet. We still have to create our jump ring to thread onto here. Now take your paper clips. Get out of a paper clip. And we're going to actually create this by sticking our, okay, by like kind of folding it outward, sticking our thumb in it and then pulling it this way until it snaps. And there you have your two things. I prefer using the smaller one, but you can use whichever, whichever one suits your fancy. Now that you have that done, take your pliers and bit it into the shape of a ring. like so. You want it, a, it to be a pretty big ring so that way you can fit around the ribbon and so that way another piece of paper clip can fit through it. You can test this out if you want but I'm not going to. Sorry my phone is about to fall over. When your jump ring is completed it should look something like this. You can also do this using actual jump ring wire or craft wire, it would actually probably be a whole lot easier to cut it. But this is how I make mine because it's cheap. And it's pretty much easy, so yeah. So now the next thing is to uh, try and get my camera to focus on my model, is to put on the halter right now. Now choose whichever side you want to be adjustable like right now. Now you should be able to look at it and if it's coming up over like on its eye on one side pull that down because you want this to be complete you want this side to be even with this side this side will still be able to slide up and down but this side won't so make sure that this one is in the right area otherwise you just messed up your whole thing. So now take the remainder of your ribbon and thread the jump ring that you just made onto it. And then all you really have to do is pull it up to where it kind of lines up with the muzzle piece. Now the next part is what makes it adjustable. 
And the only reason that I'm doing it this for him is so that way, because I don't want to, like, chop off his ears with playing with his halter and stuff. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. I just had to trim off some of my ribbon before I did this step. Yeah, if you have a really long piece, just trim off about, like, maybe two inches, if that. This one's going to be real. this step is going to be really hard for me to do and not, like, mess up you guys' line of view. So now you're basically just pulling this through um, part of your headstock and tying a knot. Like you're tying a loop around it. Then stick it through here. And then you're going to stick it through here. Holy crap, he just fell down. Okay. Then you want to pretty much pull this tight. But then before you do, not against the ribbon where it's going to slide. God, will my camera focus? So I gotta move it around real quick. Okay. So you're gonna put some hot glue in there. Well, in the knot, not in there. Because then it'll stick to the ribbon and it won't slide. So. I'll be right back after I do that. So now you have your hot through done. And if you didn't like um, putting the glue inside the knot because you were worried that you were gonna get on the sliding track, then just put it all over the outside of the knot so that way um, it stays tied. And now I'm going to show you how it's adjustable. Is you'll grab, like, I'm going to just demonstrate on the side, is you'll grab this and you'll slide your hot glued knot down and then this will become bigger and then you just have to slide it off like that. And yeah. Eventually, maybe, I might make it to where I have a jump ring instead of a knot. For right now, I just kind of like the knot because it just looks kind of like a ring around it. Like a, you know how they have a, the belt loop thing. So yeah, that. It looks kind of like a belt loop to me. I'm so weird, aren't I? So now for the lead rope. Be back in just a sec. Also, I forgot to mention that you can do the adjustable thing with a homemade buckle if you want, but I'm really bad at making buckles, so I didn't. Now I'll just take a piece of paper clip and turn it into kind of a uh, hook with a little loop on the end of it, shaped like this. This one is actually really poorly made, but still it works. You guys remember that ribbon that I cut off? earlier in this video. Yeah, I'm using that because you want to conserve your ribbon. So now you thread this through and it doesn't matter how much you go back. And then you can hot glue this and hot glue the paper clip into place so that way it stays. And then you have your hook part of it and then I'll show you how to make the handle later. I'm making mine about maybe an inch and a half to maybe two inches wide, or long, not wide, because that's a general scale size. You can make your shorter, longer, your desirable length. If you're making a lunging line, then you probably need to make it like maybe five inches, about half a foot or something. Wait, yeah, okay. So yeah, this is how long mine is. For my hooks, where my pingies are, or fingers are. Although I think I'm gonna make it a little longer because that is really. Short. Oh wait, no, because yeah, I'm only gonna make it about an inch big. So now just let me hot glue it, and then I'll show it to you on the model. So yes, here it is. I know it isn't the greatest in the world, but uh, it's pretty good. Well, for stable mate halter standards. And if you have like the little riders, they can even put this hook in there. So yeah, that's really good. 
So this has been a tutorial on how to do or how to make these Briar Stablemate halters. If you would like more tutorials on like how to make rugs or anything, comment below, please. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and bye. I love you.